my name is Maddie. I am a lover of 2000s, 90s pop culture. Today we're going to take a deep dive and review the first ever Teen Choice Awards red carpet. I've never done anything like this. Don't yell at me, I don't care. I decided to compile some of my favorites and some of my least favorite looks from this red carpet. This is a fun time in pop culture because the 90s, 2000s was the point where not everyone really had a stylist. It gave, like most people didn't have a stylist. Even like Gwen Stefani in No Doubt didn't have a stylist until their second or third album. So these are really great times to look at how people actually dress themselves instead of how their stylist dressed them, you know? Uh, I think there are only two or three people on this red carpet that I can definitively say had a stylist at this time. So it's kind of fun. Okay, let's jump right in. Let's go Britney. Let's go Britney. So this is a good, this is a good time for Britney. Post baby one more time, I believe. So good moments for Britney and Teen Choice Awards. She did win an award. Very first Teen Choice Award. I don't know. Um, and she looks mm, obviously delicious. So she is wearing what looks like a suede mini dress but if you look closely so it's obviously got fringe all on it and then the top has like this like corded almost moment but then if you look really closely it looks like it's been stencil like airbrushed on parts so you get like this like pattern to it obviously the cut is so good like how it goes like this you know instead of it could have just been straight down she didn't want to do that to the girls she's wearing turquoise a uh, little bracelet and necklace debatable i don't love turquoise but it goes really well with the lavender and then the shoes the shoes it's that classic inverted heel um that's very popular in the 2000s and then it's got a square toe it's got a clear strap and then it's a lace-up uh, delicious this is a very good and may i say underrated britney look I'd like to say underrated because a lot of her really classic looks are stage looks or her walking about looks. This is adorable though and she looks so happy. She looks so happy. So love this. This is a hit. That's how we're going to rate them. Hit or miss. I don't know who this man is. I just had to include this photo. I am terrified of this man. Absolutely terrified. Okay, okay, we are giving you a, another icon, Miss Alaya, Miss Alaya. Now, this is a casual Alaya look. I will give her that. This is a little Harley Davidson rocker girl on a motorcycle sexy baddie. Mm -mm. Um, I really like those pants, though. They're so cute. Around, like, the knee, they have these O-rings and then O-rings on the pants. I would not be surprised if this is lip service. It's wearing little like eagle studded crop top, obviously showing off that very classic flat stomach 2000s look. The boots are like one of those like weird like space age, like they're really comfy but kind of weird grandma looking 2000s shoes. I'm not mad at them. Um, And then the glasses. It would have looked better with a little skinny lens, with the little skinny 2000s lens, rather than these are more like an aviator, but I'll take it. Um, it's not my favorite Aliyah look, but if I didn't have the reference of what I have right now for what Aliyah is, I would, you know, it's a two. What do we say? It's a hit. It's a hit. It, this is not fashion photo review. So sorry. Not trying to get sued by Wow. Katherine Heigl looks dowdy. I am not surprised. And this is not new information. She's a miss big time. And so another person that's giving me the same vibe as her is sadly Sarah Michelle Gellar, which is like, you know, I don't like to talk too badly about the girl, but she looks like trash here. She looks like she found this very quickly like she was invited very last minute um or or the other reason why i would think she would wear this is because she's trying to get out of like the teen look and she's trying to go more into like an adult look even though she's at the teen choice award so like you should just tap in it's still bad though and the this 
with the, the this i'm so glad that died i'm very pleased that that died okay no we're coming back good we are coming back with pink pink is wearing all dolce and you know who um controversial now back then not known so we give her a pass on that and we give her a pass on that this is such a good this is such a good look so we're coming out of that era where doing these head to toe um high fashion house looks are really popular and she's giving us that so she's giving us that branding in the boot d and g right the jean skirt with this it's like um one of those fold over skirts so it's literally just held together at the waist with one button genius then green chains then this literally what is giving us under boob of a top i mean it is a sliver of a top and it's genius and it's got like so they've cut it right here but then they've let the buttons kind of go down a bit and then they're like beaded at the bottom <laughs> um and then she's got rhinestone obviously little cuff she matched the nails she matched she matched the eyes keeping the hair pink a little hoop little hoop for the girls this is like high salute for this one this is genius i also forgot to mention that when she came in she was also wearing a matching jean jacket and had a matching like canvas bag to the boots so i mean it just gets better we're talking about laura the girl from that 70s show who played donna she looks also dowdy um I mean, her face, she's stunning, right? She looks so good. Her hair looks so cute. The shoes are okay. This dress, this wrap dress, this like Diane von Furstenberg attempt dress, it's bad. The ruffle's bad. The fact that it's matching her skin tone, but she already is super pale, doesn't help. She could have done a color. She didn't. She looks a mess. The ruffles again, I can't stand. And like, I love a saggy boob. Like, I love a saggy boob, but this dress does not flatter the girls. Now, on the other side, Miss Mila Kunis, because this is like a good That 70s Show moment. I can't remember if they were still, I think they were still running at this point. So, Mila's still pretty young, um, and she comes in this cute little polka dot dress. It's a very 2000s cut. You've got that, like, underbust cut, little ruffle at the bottom. It looks very Betsy Johnson. Um... And she just looks so adorable. She's got these strappy little heels on. The hair is debatable, but that's okay. Because I think if it was a super updo moment, it would take away from the youthfulness. I think she looks so cute. And that's the way to go. You know, an unexpected hit for this. A person who I genuinely did not expect to see on this red carpet, let alone serve it to us. Kathy Griffin? Why does she look so good? I, was no one going to tell me that she was a fashion icon? Were you guys were just going to like let that slip by? I'm bothered that you did. She is wearing these cropped plaid pants, rhinestones down the side. They give me a little Dolce look, but I digress. I don't know who she's wearing. She's then wearing a quarter length sleeve, little cropped Kathy top. Kathy Rhinestone. Rhinestone? I dressed up for the occasion, obviously. Um, she's giving you a little baby bang. A strappy heel, of course. All the girls were wearing the strappy heels. And where's the photo? She has these little glasses on, too. Like, she really looks so good and exactly what I would want to look like. Good for her. I don't know how old she is at this point, but she's obviously older than most of the people there. And she's giving us the looks. Next up is Amanda Lewis. I don't know who she is. Sorry to her. The reason that we had to talk about this look, I feel is very obvious. The pants. The pants. I don't know where she got them. I would not be surprised if she made them. They are a classic little like low rise. They're a little bit mid rise. The bottom where I first thought they were fringed. No ma'am. They are fringe rhinestone right 
And then she's got this sling back mule flip flop thing that is also silver and then a inverted lucite heel. I like it from the belly down, to be honest. The um, cut rock star tank is not my fave. It feels a little tail in the background. <laughs> um, the cut rock star tank could have been a baby tee for me. Could have been one of those Kathy Griffin length tops. Um, but then the necklace is really cute and her hair looks incredible. Two gals giving us also the moment are Venus and Serena Williams, who both got Teen Choice Awards. Go the girls. Um, and they're matching. So Serena is wearing this little um, asymmetrical hemline tube dress. There seems to be an embroidered flower on the side, very 2000s. Um, and then she's giving us a little rhinestone strappy heel. She has a French pedicure banger. Um, and then she's got a little like scalloped rhinestone necklace and her hair looks adorable. They're young at this point. Like to me, they're young. I don't know how young they actually are at this point, but to me, they're young. So I love how youthful this is. And then, oh, but Venus is a star. Like that's, that's the thing is like Venus looks so good. So she is wearing these very like reminds me of those bubblegum pants. Um, oh God, yes. They're a hook and eye fly. Didn't see that until I closed up. They're like an iridescent pink, baby pink. And then she's wearing it with a chain belt and then a square rhinestone bustier, G like genius. And then, so it kind of hits a little bit lower in the front. And then when it comes to the side, you see a little skinny skin. Um, and then she's wearing it with these cool, like flip flop heels. I don't even know how to describe them. Like, but the big toe is out and looking cute and also has pink polish on it. I think it's very funny to see the nail polish choices of this time. I don't wear nail polish, so it's fun. She is wearing a watch. I don't know why, <laughs> why she needed to tell the time, but then she's got a little rhinestone sugar on. So she looks really cute. Her hair looks adorable. It's a really cute length, but I just love the fact that they matched. I think that they really gave us the moment. Now, Melissa Joan Hart, give me a second, give me a second. Sorry, I, I didn't know. I didn't. Oh. Yes, we own the same dress. Yes, it is lip service. Mm -hmm. Melissa Joan Hart shows up in this 2000s lip service gown. It is a, as you can see, red vinyl. Um, mine is cracking a lot because it's old as shit, but also 2000s and 90s lip service final does not age well. So, but luckily for her, not only did she wear this dress to the 2000s Teen Choice Awards, she also then brought it back out for the Valley of the Dolls premiere. Love that. Another quick change. I felt like this was more 2000s actually. I have the matching skirt, but I was lazy because I'm wearing my Moschino pants. Ooh. <laughs> um, anyway. Melissa. I think this is really smart for her and I've never seen her in anything like this before. She normally plays it very cutesy on Sabrina so this was fun and the back of it is so sexy with the corset so props to her. I hate the necklace. The shoe that we are seeing is like a peep toe little moment and the hair is adorable so obviously this was a hit for me. Next oh my god yeah let us talk about Lily Sobinski. We have to talk about this look because she looks adorable, yet she's pulling a bold move. So she's wearing, once again, lavender, very popular on the runway. Um, she's wearing a sleeveless turtleneck. Um, looks great on her. And then she's wearing these like faux snakeskin suede. We know that if you felt the material, you know the material. It's like um, a sequined kind of thing um and then it's got like a print on it it's a cute fabric and i really like it and she's wearing pants that are also lavender and then she's wearing a what looks to be pink 
snakeskin like thong sandal very cute but she paired it with this weird like rainbow fish bag <laughs> and she took pictures like kissing it but I don't hate it <laughs> like it's the kids or I mean I mean you know what no it's the teen choice awards if it was the kids choice awards maybe I would <laughs> the look itself is actually very mature like cute but mature you know what i mean she's not giving you a little girly you know mini dress so the bag is off-putting bag is also really big if it was a little tiny fish i'd be very cool with it but it is not okay usher this is the definition of good okay this is what men should wear it's giving me like you can tell where little Nas gets some of his inspiration from this 90s, 2000s hip hop culture because he is giving it to you. He's giving you a textured long, what looks like a white mink almost, um, coat. And then he is doing no shirt underneath, genius. He's doing a white do-rag on the top, genius. The pants, they could have been baggier for me like they're kind of just like veering in the middle of baggy and slim he looks like he is wearing a that looks like a gucci belt um like the die it kind of looks like the dionysus belts and then he is iced out um with from the earrings to the chains to the bracelets i mean he's giving you it all the sneakers were a choice um, but I'm also not that good in sneakerhead culture, so maybe this was a really big flex. Um, but I'm fine. They just, like, make his feet look really small in comparison to the rest of it. I feel like he could have done a boot. But either way, I think it is genius and very bold for Teen Choice Awards. I don't know how old he was at this point. He looks pretty young, and I was surprised to see there was Usher, but I'm very pleased with it. Duh. I mean, he even shows off on the on the red carpet. He's giving you the moments. He's giving you poses. Smart man. So this is Camila Bell. Um, in 2000, she was in a Disney Channel movie called Rip Girls. So obviously, she's going to be at the Teen Choice Awards. And she is a Disney girl. She's playing the young role, right? She is giving you a very teen girls will want to wear this kind of look um once again an all purple look this is a may I say trend alert? and it's really cute I mean obviously it's a little bland but it's got all the 2000s elements there once again we are doing a snakeskin strappy sandal and 90% of the issues that we say are snakeskin are a faux snakeskin she's giving you a is that a suede or like an acid wash pant I'm gonna go with a, like a faux suede and then it's got side slits and a bunch of embroidery very cute but it's like monochromatic um and then this rhinestone silky cami with the lettuce hem very classic would be very popular today and the little mini bag it's so cute those little like micro floral beads I don't exactly know what they're called but you know them um and she matched it with her bracelet I believe also wearing a watch don't like how people are wearing watches people don't need watches and the necklace is bland and could have been taken off but the look itself really cute and i approve jessica simpson so she is obviously not a teen here so she's giving you a little little bit more sex mixy um but she looks really cute these jeans are iconic and they look like they cost money back in the day they are a zip fly and they are studded in this like cool, I think it looks like a paisley pattern. And you've got that classic raw hem at the bottom. Um, and then this corset top. I don't, I don't love the corset top. I don't, it's, it's a very fine line of wearing skin tones. And especially since she's so tan, that literally looks like it's her skin. And the high neck, if it was like a, like a bustier in a sense. And then she did like the unhooking at the bottom, I'd be like sick. I don't like the top. The choker is cute. The hair is, you know, again, we're doing the this thing, but you know, I'll take it. Looks like someone did her hair though. Cause you also remember this is Jessica Simpson. 
I think she had a little bit more help than the other girls. And her shoes look cute. I can't tell what the heel looks like from this photo. But it looks like a little like BB pump, you know. I'm pleased with it. I don't love it though. I don't love it. It's a nooch. It's a nooch for me. Who's not a nooch? Carmen Electra. <laughs> Carmen Electra looks so good. The pants, ill-fitting. I'm gonna say, and so you can obviously tell that she probably picked this out herself and she did this herself because the pants are maybe two sizes too big on her, but they're, you can tell why she wanted to wear them. They are a fully like um, tangerine, sherbet, whatever that creamsicle thing is. Yeah, creamsicle color um, pant. And then she's got a crop top, like a tie-dye crop top with also rhinestones. She's put some sort of rhinestone thing on her belly button. Very cute, very cute. Little bead of mini bag that is like a hot orange. The shades are sexy. The hoops are sexy. The hair looks good. The shoes, you know, they're there. They're there. They're doing the job of being shoes. And the white toenails were a choice. But, and what's it? Is that also a watch? It's also a Jennifer Love Hewitt. So when you first look at this dress, you're like, okay, you know, she looks fine. The hair is super 2000s, like teased, annoying, dumb. But then she turns around and she gives you this open back, laced, like tie in the front. And then she put a fucking tramp stamp tattoo butterfly right on like the crevice of her ass. And that is so 2000s. <laughs> it's so good. And it's very bold for a Teen Choice Awards, um, especially when, I mean, I don't remember how old she is at this point, but she's not a teen. So it's bold to wear, but it's so fun. She's also wearing an inverted heel. Um, she also has the French pedicure. Trend alert. Oh, and a French manicure. Okay, she is matching. She's, oh, and if you see her hair, also she like, probably like I think she like sprayed it like different colors which I think is really fun so she's just having a ball Mandy Moore is there she looks like trash the next person we're going to discuss is Miss Leslie Babe so she actually won herself a Teen Choice Award this award show um for her role in Popular which I think is a 1999 TV show um she looks hot I don't know how old she is here. She's doing that weird, like, um, stringy hair that was kind of more of a goth thing, but she looks awesome with it. It's this red, like, scalloped and cut out. I'm going to say it's probably leather, um, which is so pretty. And then the cut out, the scalloped and the cutouts go into the white pants. So it is a set, but they're not matching in color, which I think is very smart. Um, and then the shoes are so sexy. I just got a little, I got some chills, I got some chills. They're really, really cute. Um, and you know, obviously they go with the top, the bangle. You know what, it might, if it's a leather cuff, I'm here for it, if it's a bangle, I'm not. I think it's really smart though. It's simple, it's classic. She looks like a supermodel. Next up is another teen star, Miss Amanda Bynes. So she's a Nickelodeon girl. I think this is around the time of the Amanda show. If not, she's about to get into it. But she's also giving us a red and white moment, um, but a much more teen version, which I think is very smart, obviously. She's a Nickelodeon girl. She's just starting this show. She's gotta keep that good, fresh, young personality. So she's giving you a Earl's fruit stand, like tank top, very cute. It's got some rhinestones on it, probably from limited two or something with these, uh, can't tell if they're by, they might be Levi's with that little tag, but they are also like a red flare pant fit her really well. And then she ties in this little beaded red choker, some hoops, a side braid, which God, I remember doing that and thinking I was the shit. Um, I was not. Uh, the makeup looks super cute. And then the platforms, the platform flip-flops, very smart. This makes so much sense for her. And she looks very cute and very on brand. So next up is, oh, 
Disney Fever fan, this is no doubt. Um, this is a really good time for them. They've got two guys in the back who I don't know who they are. They're not in the original band, but this was the time when they were getting into a little reggae moment. So they might have brought these guys on. The men of No Doubt are not talked about enough with like how stylish they are. Um, they look so good. The guy to Gwen's, how we're looking at it right, um, is her ex-boyfriend, Tony. He's the bassist. He looks so cool in those weird glasses that are so 2000s and like very like Ed Hardy. He's holding a fucking beer. Okay, Teen Choice Awards. Um, There is a photo where one of the guys shows his ass. I believe it would be the guy on the left who is the drummer who has a cigar in his hand. Damn. Okay, Teen Choice Awards. <laughs> Look at his hair though. Look at his hair. He's got these little like, he shaved all of it except for like these two little like nubs that are dyed and he he looks great he's wearing what looks like maybe like morbid thread pants or something this hot dog on a stick sweatshirt um and then Gwen obviously in the middle so this is Gwen's um post breakup she dyed her hair pink now this is a little bit after that because when she first had the pink hair she also had braces because that was when they first started getting money Yes, I know so much about No Doubt. It is disgusting. She looks obviously so cute with that like wispy feathered hair. She's wearing a like triangle top, um, some metallic brush jeans, the studded belt, you know, choices, but you know, it's fine. I would have preferred a chain belt that goes through the loops. I don't like it when the pants have loops and then people wear a belt on top of the fucking loops. Gwen is wearing a strappy, what looks to be like a clear pump. So she looks really good. She looks really cute. So next up is Magiandra Delfino. Don't know if I said her first name right. Um, She was popular back then because she was in Secret Life of Girls and Roswell so pretty popular I don't know um she is also wearing lip service she's wearing the lip service stitch flame pants so these are really great pants I have seen the flames up close in person before they are a sexy pair of pants and she is ruining them with this brown tooled leather belt with a bull belt buckle these pants don't have belt loops and you know, you can throw a little, I'd be fine with a chain belt. And sometimes I am okay with mixing brown and black, but this is a mixing of styles that I don't approve of. You don't mix lip service with like a Western belt and it's, oh, it's horrible. Top is hilarious though. It is a like a tank. She just cut it on the side and then wrote, I love you mom on it in a very obvious sharpie so i love that part of it but i would have just loved it so much more if she had taken off the belt and the shoes are cute but they're brown so the top i'm obsessed with the pants obsessed the belt and the and the boots they ruin it so you know big time boot for that one because you know i you know no no and last but not least we are going to look at kobe and vanessa they look so cute together Oh my god, Vanessa looks so cute. She's giving me a little like, she's wearing, I think it's just a headband um, and then a black A tank. And cause she knew, she knew the moment was the pants. These glittery denim tiger print pants, which are so sexy. They look really good with her skin tone. She's giving you the moment and then Kobe is really giving you a cute look he looks like he might be in not like either FUBU or Tommy Hilfiger but it's really cool I like how the sneakers match the tee I love the contrast stitch of all of it it's very clean denim and they look really great together so hit hit for me my favorite look from this was probably pink and Dolce um I just think it's a really cool look. I loved pink from the 2000s, so that was probably my favorite look. My least favorite look was any of the gals that showed up looking dowdy. Um, anyways, that is it. If you want me to review other 90s, 2000s red carpets or events or whatever, I would love to. Let me know. I like doing it. Anyways, bye!